What do you think about barns today and what they kind of, the purposes they're used for? Um, the only barns I really know are, are, you know, this one right here, that's pretty old. Mm -hmm. And then new ones that people put up and then it's just like, fancy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love old old barns because like I said it goes back to like you can see the craftsmanship that really yeah. went into it um, New barns are more of fancy pole sheds that people yeah. use um, Old barns aren't necessarily used for your livestock so much anymore just because okay. they're a little bit the way they're built um, Like some modern equipment can't actually make it in there. So um, mm -hmm. to clean things make it all nice and Use, useful um but they're still used for hay lofts i know a lot of people that okay. put hay and straw in their barns um but we also have the modern kind of more um e event venues and people are fixing up barns yeah. and making them yeah. into those um i've seen airbnbs and i think those are kind of neat um okay. that they literally put in walls into the same barn and that but a lot of work would have to go into this to make it an airbnb <laughs> Depends I, on the clientele. Yeah, because <laughs> I know someone that they literally they started in a barn venue because they had an old barn on the property and okay. they were getting married, okay. and they were like, "Well, we'll get it fixed up enough." Well, everyone just loved the charm of the barn so yeah. much that they started saying, "Well, could I rent that?" And they went, yeah. "There's no air conditioning. There's barely any light. Like, what do you want out of this?" <laughs> and so then they slowly rented it out and kept fixing here and there and making it better and better and it's really cool now I mean they put a lot of work into it but how many barn weddings have you gone to <sighs> I think I'm up to like four or five now oh, okay I think I've been to two I want to say okay yeah so not as many not as many <laughs> that's all right they do make it uh quite cute and uh yeah the charm the it ch does have a charm it does and it it does take a special person i feel like a special person that can accept that charm and ex like really pull it out even in their yeah. decorations and everything they do in the day because if yeah. you try to if you try to upscale a barn too much some of times it becomes a little kitschy in the decorations and yeah everything. the kitschiness yeah, <laughs> yeah i get that but i might have been to actually a few more maybe like three this, this one I went to in Illinois, mm -hmm. in like rural Illinois, this barn was, it was probably like three times this size. Oh, okay. And they had like a whole loft and they had like old cars yep. in the loft. That's awesome. And just like a whole big thing. I think I might know which barn you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not like, sure. Like Barnacopia. I don't know if you've heard mm. of that. And it's got old cars and like... Um, John Deere memorabilia, maybe? No. Maybe. No. There's definitely memorabilia. Yeah. That's kind of like the the dream barn. Yeah. <laughs> that's <what Yes>. it's <laughs> like. We have actually, um, a friend of mine that I went to college with, his family was friends with the family that okay. that made Barnacopia. I don't know if that's the same barn you're talking about, but that's a three-story barn and like has so much memorabilia. Mm. And so when we went, we actually, they helped build some of that and do okay. things so we went and saw it and had like this one-on-one -on -one tour and it was so cool that how they went about building the barn and putting all of their mementos they had gotten through the years so that okay. they had a place to store them yeah it has a charm to it and that's that's like why i got like this little setup <laughs> i was i was telling you earlier like <laughs> i got this makeshift studio in the barn uh you know it's February. We're recording this in February mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's not warm. No, it's not as bad as I was expecting though. Like, it's I'm not too bad. Um, but yeah, the like the cuteness of it and, mm -hmm. uh, it's cool. Well, some people have memorabilia. We just have like old license plates from my dad. Uh, we got an old milk jug. I don't even think you can see it in the shot. <laughs> and then we have a globe that's basically, uh, being held up by the wall. <laughs> it has to like lean against the wall to stand uh but yeah there's like a, a charm to it yeah there is that's a what charm. i'm trying to capture with yes. the, <laughs> the video the podcast <laughs> so we'll see but it's uh it's a work in progress um i figure i could have something like this so then when i want to talk to a wisconsin guests uh -huh. they can come to my my studio in the barn in the barn 